All right, good morning guys from Kanchanaburi, Thailand. Now, the reason most people come to Kanchanaburi is for a bit of the history. I mean, there's a lot to do in Kanchanaburi province, but most people come here to see the bridge and to see the cemeteries and stuff like that from World War II. So we're right here in downtown Kanchanaburi and we're gonna start the day in this cemetery. We're gonna look around. There's about 7,000 people that are buried here. Uh, Indians, Australians, New Zealanders. Uh, the Americans that were here, there were about 133 and the American government has taken their bodies and moved them back home. So there's a little plaque for them, but they're not actually buried in it. Now there's a couple cemeteries around. There's this one, then there's a Chinese cemetery, and then there's another POW uh, cemetery that's not too far away. And then we're gonna go from here and we'll go check out some of the other stuff to do with Ken Chenabri. We're gonna go see the bridge, and then I'm gonna show you the bridge at nighttime while they're doing the reenactment of what happened like with the bombing and the Japanese building it and all of that. So let me show you around the cemetery and then we'll do some other stuff today. For those of you that don't know, this cemetery is dedicated to the POWs that the Japanese used as forced labor to build the railroad. Now the Japanese during World War II, they started constructing a railroad from Thailand in 1942 that stretched all the way over to Yangon in Burma. And it was to support their efforts fighting the war against the, the British. Now they used civilians and POWs to build it. So they used slave labor and they worked them to death digging a, a railroad line with hand tools and manual labor through the jungle. And about 180,000 civilians were used and approximately 100,000 of those died. And they used about 60,000 uh, allied POWs also in constructing it. And about, I think about 12,000 of them died if I'm not mistaken. So if you think of it about one in five, you know, if you had five people together, one of you would die. That was basically the attrition rate. And the civilian side was even higher than that. So anyway, I always come here. I've been here a couple times and it's really sobering because you have the headstones and then uh, the people came and they've left messages like the family members after they found out that their loved one died and they've left little memories about them, you know, like husband and father and, you know, just stuff like that. And it's really like, you know, hard to take, you know, when you think about the conditions these guys worked and, and there's several movies that depict them. The most famous is like the bridge over the river Kwai. And there's some other bridges, you know, talking about the death railroad and they show the conditions of the POWs. And I mean, it's Hollywood, so it's, it is what it is. But, you know, it, it can't really convey, you know, the horrific conditions that, uh, that these people, you know, endured in building this railroad. You know, you're fighting the heat in the jungle. And then you have the Japanese that, you know, their, their captors were not nice at all to them. And, you know, they didn't have enough food. They didn't have enough water. And just, just terrible conditions working in a, you know, in the jungle. So let's look around and... Uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking. I'll show you some of the headstones and then we'll, we'll go on. So in the corner of the cemetery is all the graves for the unknown soldiers. For whatever reason, they could not be identified. So they're buried here with the simple uh, message known unto God.
All right, so here we are at the bridge over the River Kwai, as the Americans say. Anyway, the Thais pronounce it Mainam Kwai. Kwai means buffalo, so they don't call it the Buffalo Bridge. Anyway, what they got going on here, as you can see, they got some pillboxes and they got a stage set up. And this year, every time in December, they do a reenactment of the bombing. The Americans bombed this bridge, or the Allies bombed this bridge in 1945. So they reenact what happens. They have the drones flying over and they let out fireworks and stuff like that. So we'll come over and check it out. Got a little Spider-Man or Superman there that wanted to pose. Anyway, let's uh, let's walk around and look at the bridge. So this bridge was actually built in Java at the time, which is Indonesia. So they disassembled it and they brought it in to put over the river here. And this was a pretty big part of constructing the railroad. There's other parts, you know, Hellfire Pass and further on down where they had a, some serious difficulties. But this was like the main river that they needed to cross. The other parts was just basically chiseling away a mountain and building the railroad line that way. So here's on the other side of the bridge without the stage and all of that. Anyway, you can come in here uh, four times a day. You can see the train go across these tracks because this is still in operation. So there's two trains that come from Bangkok that go all the way to the end of the line and then the two return trips. So you'll be able to see the train come across the bridge. And it's like early in the morning, mid morning, and then in the evening for the other two. Across the river is a Chinese temple. This is probably, I don't know about eight or nine years old. It's worth a look. We're not going to look at it today, but you can. And then around the bridge, they have quite a few hotels. They got restaurants and tons and tons of souvenir stands. And you can see some of those on the other side over there. There's some more restaurants, hotels, and then back into the town itself where the souvenir stands. And then they got a fair going on. So this is all set up with tents. I think we're gonna come back and check it out and see what it looks like at nighttime. And as you can see from the uh, vast amount of people, it's a popular tourist destination. But every, all the ties are out. Those are most of the people that came in to see the, the fair. So you can see on one of the pillars that goes down into the mud that the bomb damage. But I, I was looking for it, I couldn't quite see it, but you're supposed to be able to, if you know what you're looking for. But two of the center uh, spans of the bridge was destroyed in 1945 by the Allied bombing. And I think you can go and see part of the original span that's in the Jerth War Museum. So there's two museums. There's the one over by the War Cemetery, and then there's the cemetery, or not the cemetery, the museum down here by the bridge itself. It's pretty easy to get some nice little walkways between the tracks and on each side and they have some little jump off points because they have a tourist uh, train that will go across the bridge I think like every hour during the peak tour season so you got to have a place to jump out of the way and like I said this is the Mainam Kwe River which we call the River Kwai all right so it says something here in English as, uh, this was made in Tokyo, Japan. Tells you about the span. But I think that's a little data plate they stuck on later because the Japanese wouldn't have wrote it in English. So anyway, here's the view of the river from the other side. And Kenchanabur, you can come up here. It's a great place if you want to do stuff in the evening. They got a lot of these outdoor like pub restaurants. And then you see a lot of people that go and uh, they ride up and down the river on boats. So they have like party cruises going on. And it gets quite loud. All right, so this all is in Kenchanaburi. You got the bridge, you got the, uh, the museums and the cemeteries. And then you can go up towards the Burmese border. That's a little harder to get to if you have a car. You know, it's easy, you can take a, like the train part of the way and it's or you can rent a motorcycle and go see some of it but that gets a little dangerous on the tight roads but this is definitely worth your time to come and see i've been to this bridge and all of this probably i don't know 12 times or so and it never gets old you can come and see it many 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 times so uh 
anyway hope you enjoyed this it's uh, a little bit of history so we'll look around some more and come back and check out the the show tonight So right next to the cemetery is the Death Railway Museum. And went inside there, it was 100 baht for the Thai people to go in or 150 baht for a foreigner. So anyway, the museum is nice. It was uh, kind of small. It's worth about spending about an hour in or so. They didn't allow me to take any videos in there. So I took a few pictures to show you, but it shows, it does a nice chronicle of uh, the conditions of the workers and how many people died and they show you some of the, the old historical photos and uh, shows you quite a bit of stuff in there but anyway if you're next to the cemetery stop in and take a look in the museum it's worth your time so you got some guys that are going to be doing the japanese reenactment